With all the hype that OnePlus or the so-called flagship killer has generated, it is of no surprise that people go crazy if the company comes up with the Apple-ish flagship killer. Okay, I have said enough times flagship killer, but this year the question rises, is it really a flagship killer? As with all the hype, there has been hike in the price of the OnePlus device for the past generations, but this year OnePlus took it beyond. The pricing is too high to an extent that its Indian or international pricing is neck to neck with the current generation LG flagship. Even worse, the Mi 6 global version is available for as low as 350 US dollars or 25,000 INR. So is the hype worth it? Let's find out, as today we will be doing the hands on of the OnePlus 5. But before we do, my name is Jonathan, this is Tech Teachers and let's get started. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on the channel. As you all know, OnePlus to fill its OnePlus fans' hunger had a pop-up event in some of the cities of India and one among was luckily Hyderabad. So I and my friend Shaker from Shake for Gami had the courtesy to visit and take hands-on of the OnePlus 5. So we travelled 15 kilometers all the way from my home just to face a disappointment. I know some of you might say it's too early to judge, but taking a look at OnePlus's history and the legendary OnePlus One's pricing, this one feels overpriced, more so than its specs scream. And talking about specs, I know everyone might be aware of it by now, but for those who live under a rock, just as a traditional OnePlus flagship, it has all the top-notch specs like the latest and greatest Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 SoC which is built on 10 nanometer fabrication process. It means it will run cooler while consuming less battery. Then the last gen, coupled with the flagship Adreno 540 GPU, which means it will fly through any app or game and will even chew any benchmark. <coughs> also, there is now an option to choose between 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. Say it again, 8 gigs of RAM, with either 64 or 128 GB of storage options respectively. The storage is acceptable, but why does a phone need 8 gigs of RAM when even Android system can take benefit from it? Either way, the OnePlus 5 runs on Android Nougat out of the box, which is common. Another thing which is common is that camera. OnePlus has also joined the dual camera race with a primary 16 megapixel wide angle f1.7 camera along with a 20 megapixel f2.6 telephoto lens. And if that term feels familiar to you, then you're not wrong. It's the same implementation found in the latest iDevice, but with a higher megapixel count. And what's even funny is that the camera app looks like the same. Just to add a bit of spice, there is also portrait mode which blurs out the background giving that shallow depth of field or bokeh. But thankfully, the front facing shooter isn't the same as other devices. For that matter, it's the same 16 megapixel camera found in the OnePlus 3T to fill the selfie hunger. All this feels good, but what I was disappointed with is with that display. I know, it's a 5.5 inch AMOLED display, but still, it's 1080p. And considering the fact it's an optic AMOLED display, at a glance, I felt the display to be pixelated. Yes, at least I felt like such. Also, the lack of an IP rating for waterproofing and also the smaller than last gen battery capacity that is 3300mAh for that 7.2mm thick or thinness made me think, is it worth sacrificing for the battery life for the slimness of the device? Who cares? But thankfully, there is dash charge which will top up your device pretty soon. And with that, we come to the pricing. And the OnePlus 5 is priced at 32,999 INR for the base, 6GB RAM and 64GB storage and 37,999 INR for the top of the line 8GB RAM and 128GB storage option. And for my international viewers, that's 479 and 539 US dollars respectively. And for now, it is available in both slate grey and matte black, which is great. But for the price, I feel OnePlus 5 is a bit steep. Again, considering LG D6 or the Mi 6 is available for equal or even less price. So in my opinion, if you are planning to upgrade to OnePlus 5, I would suggest you to wait for Mi 6 to launch in your country or go buy the LG G6 and save some money. But if you are a diehard OnePlus fan and are in need of upgrade, then go ahead buy the OnePlus 5. Just don't blame me. 
but that's just me what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below so that pretty much winds up the video hopefully enjoy the content if you did and feel like the one who's privileged to have an awesome supporting audience like you feeling make sure to crack that like button but if you are a oneplus fan and feel this video sucked go ahead and hit that dislike button but if you feel that my words made sense and you want to hear more from me in the future then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then this has been your host jonathan from tech teachers reminding you to check out my brother's new channel with the name food cash if you are a foodie for which the links can be found below and then thanks for watching